So in this video, I am going to talk about um, my son, Amari, my second baby, um, his two-year update. Um, so when I started this channel, um, I started the whole thing by announcing my pregnancy with Amari. And now he is two years old. <laughs> so I am going to talk about what's going on with him and um, how he's doing, how he's growing and all of that. So everybody once again is napping. So this is my time to, you know, get some things done or as AJ say, get some stuff to get done. And um, so that's what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and jump right to this. So Omari, so um, he turned um, two in November. And um, let me just go ahead and say, which I'm going to talk more about it in a little bit. But let me just say that because when I think about Omari being two years old, the first thing that comes to mind is that everybody talks about the terrible twos. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. All right. So first, let's see. Um, first, his vocabulary is definitely improving. Um, he's not much of a talker. Um, he doesn't like, you know, to talk much. And if he does talk, it's because he feels he needs to. Um, so if he needs to ask for something or whatnot or something is wrong, he'll talk. Or when he just, when he wants to, when he wants to talk, he's like me. Um, in college, one of my professors called me a taciturn, which is a person that doesn't talk much. But when they do talk, they got something to say. And that's that that really is me. Um, because I don't feel like I need to like, you know, just run my mouth constantly, constantly, like for what? Like, okay, yeah, I talk a lot on <laughs> on this channel, but that's the purpose, you know, it's for me to talk about things. Um, but just talking with people, because I'm running my mouth now. But see, just talking with people, people don't want to hear they don't want to just stand there while you just sit there and keep talking and talking. Um, so yeah, so Amari, he's he's like that. He doesn't talk much, but when he needs to, he will. And he he knows a lot of words. He knows a lot more words than we've been giving him credit for. Like he'll say things, and I'm like, wow, I didn't know you knew that. And there's a lot of things that um he knows that we didn't realize that he knew um so now that i've you know i have more um time to do things around the house and be more organized um i was able to update my um tiny beans um app and that's the app where i keep track of my kids development um, as they grow, you know, through the years, I started off with AJ and then I added Omari and then I lost track because of work and everything. I just didn't have the time to get to it. And now I have a mirror. So, and I'm home. So now I'm able to, um, do that. So, um, with the tiny beans app, there's different categories. And so, um, the first category is cognition. And so for each like age level, um, there's different, you know, things that uh, the kids should be able to do in that, that time frame at that age. Um, and you can pretty much see here what all Amari is able to do and what we're still working on. And he's actually able to count to 10 and we did not realize that. Um, because I haven't really worked with him, you know, up to him turning two years old, like really just working with him with numbers and letters. But apparently he's been paying attention, you know, with all of, you know, the alphabets and number stuff that we play on TV because, you know, I only play educational stuff. Um, 
and you know and with AJ so he's learning a lot more than we're realizing so he can count to 10 um he'll mumble through like you know some numbers say it the best way that he can but he knows he knows um when he gets to 10 it like that's that's it and he goes 10 and yay and cheers and everything it's cute um he is um we're working on his name um, getting him to say his name he knows his name obviously he knows he, you know he answers to it and um he really responds to his middle name because when we call him by his middle name Azariah he starts crying because he knows he's in trouble um but getting him to say his name that's what we're working on getting him to say that my name is Amari um yeah, so at one point, he would repeat after us and say, my name is, and then when we say Amari, he would just start laughing. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're working on him to, to do, to um say his name. He can name everybody else. He can name Mama, Dada, um, AJ, Baby. And then when we ask him, like, when we point to him and say, well, who is that? He don't really have an answer. Um, we're also working on drawing, getting him to, you know, because he's real good at scribbling. So now I'm starting to work with him with, you know, being able to draw lines, you know, um, horizontal and vertical lines and draw, you know, circles, little swirls and stuff. Um, and of course, he loves that. I'm going to have a video coming up in season six, yeah, in the next season, um, with how homeschool is going um and so you'll see then like what all we're really working on and how we're doing it um he has mastered a whole lot of gross motor skills like you know running and jumping and you know just climbing the stairs he can go up, the, up and down the stairs no problem um and i just say that's because you know he's following behind aj AJ um, can do it, and he wants to hang out and keep up with AJ. Um, so let's see, washing his hands, he can wash his hands, um, of course, with help, because he can't reach the sink um, yet. Um, so yeah, so he can, he, he can do that. He can let us know when he needs to wash his hands. So after he finishes eating, because I have a rule that before they get anything to drink, they have to wash their hands. And I came up with that rule because I was tired of their, their cups being all yucky and stuff. You know, food and stuff just all stuck all on the cups and having to keep clean, cleaning them. I'm like, you know what? Before y'all get, you know, your drink, wash your hands first. So after you eat, you wash your hands and then you get um, your cup and drink it. And yeah, so after he finishes eating, he comes and he comes and says, hands, hands, and goes to the sink. Like, all right, I'm ready to wash my hands. I need you to lift me up, mama. Come on. <laughs> and so, you know, lift him up, let him wash his hands. And then um, and he'll say whether the water is too hot or too cold. Because if it's really cold, he's like, cold, cold, mama, cold. Uh, or if it's high, hot, hot, mama. <laughs> And so then when he's done, you know, tell him to dry his hands. He'd go up to the towel and just, you know, pat his hands on the towel. And so, you know, we have to help him dry his hands. So, yeah, really, really good at that. He's really independent, um, which I love because I've always been an independent kid, person, adult, all of that. So to see my kids, you know, being independent, I love that, you know, because it's like, yes, know how to do it yourself. Don't depend on someone to always do stuff for you. Know how to do it yourself. So I'm like, yes, great. Keep it up. <laughs> um, so let's see. Uh, the next category, reading. Um, he loves, you know, reading books. Um, when I do read alouds, you know, read them stories and stuff, he loves to point out pictures and stuff, um, especially if a story is repetitive. Like there are certain things that, you know, is repeated throughout the story. He loves to 
to say say it along with the story or whatnot and yeah so he he likes that um so eventually you know we'll you know go more into learning you know words and everything like that so now we're still working on the numbers and the letters and um and as far as the letters he um he can sing the abc song which we were surprised by that too because it's like we didn't know you knew that so he'll sing the abc song and just like with count to 10 when he gets to z he knows that's the end and he'll go now i know my abc's and you know he kind of mumbles it because he can't really say it clearly next time won't you sing with me yay he's ready to cheer and everything so cute yeah um so the biggest thing the biggest thing right now with amari being two is the potty training and i've said before that i absolutely despise potty training i didn't think that i would feel this way about potty training but i do um i feel a little bit better about it though um especially with me being home i feel better about it um but i still hate it and <laughs> and i always knew that i wasn't going to be the parent that pulled teeth i, I don't want anything to do with teeth coming out of anybody's mouth mm -mm. But I did not think that potty training would would irk my nerves. I didn't I didn't think so, but it does. And I have to say, I haven't been doing a very good job at potty training because with me being home, I mean, he should be potty trained like already. He's not. Um, but what he can do is he can tell us um, sometimes when he thinks about it um that he needs to potty he'll say potty and we're like oh yes go 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 potty and you know help him i think right now the the task at hand is um uh helping him learn how to pull you know his undies down um or his pull-ups down but at the same time i don't think he really has a problem with that because um Sometimes in the mornings when we go in there to get him out of his room, he's taking um, his pull-ups off. Sometimes I've come in there and he's completely naked. Just he took all his clothes off. So it's like, you know how to do this. So I guess now it's just really teaching him the proper time to do that. When to go potty. Um, when you need to let us know that you need to go sit on the potty. Um, that you... Uh, pee pee and boo boo in the potty not in your undies and yeah getting him to wear more undies too i mean he has plenty because he has aj's hand-me-downs and we he has he has some new ones some training undies so getting him to wear that more would definitely push me more to make sure that he potties because the pull-ups i understand the pull-ups that they are, you know, meant to help with potty training, you know, so that if they do go, you don't have a mess to clean up. But it kind of is also um, like a crutch, too, because it's kind of like just going, you, you pull up. Yeah, like, I don't say that, but that pretty much be the mindset, though. Like, I ain't worried about that right now. Go in your pull up. And that's not, that's not helping the process at all. So I think if I got more focus with um, potty training and really got more hands-on with it and did more and, or do more, that he, he'll get potty trained because he, he's ready. He understands it and all of that. So, and when we sit him on the potty, he goes in the potty. He got it. So, mommy just slacking. Yeah, I'm just slacking. All right, so the other thing about Omari turning two, and it's not even him turning two. It was before he turned two. The doggone terrible, so-called terrible twos, and these doggone tantrums now. I always used to be the person that would be like, people say he's talking about some terrible twos. 
You better cut that kid behind. You better cut that behind. And be throwing no tantrum and falling out and stuff. So I was like, there's no such thing as a terrible two. You better nip that in the bud immediately. Yeah. Then I had Omari. And oh, I hear my baby crying. So let me hurry. So he started throwing tantrums like when he turned one. And that's what AJ did too. He threw his first tantrum like right when he turned one. But, you know, I, I popped them little legs and he stopped there real quick. So Amari, different story. Amari, I, oh my gosh, I can get on to him. I can fuss at him. I can pop him. I can do, I mean, everything. He would throw the biggest tantrum. And who will work my patience, will work my patience, will work my nerves, all of that. So, yeah. But the thing is, I'm not the type, though, that's going to be like, just throw my hands up. And like, I don't know what to do. No. This is my house. I run this. I run this show. So, we just gonna we just gonna keep working at it until he finally gets the point that throwing these tantrums is not okay, and you're not gonna get what you want just because you're throwing these tantrums. It's not gonna work like that, sir. No. Um, and uh, so I, I'm also trying to get him to like understand that it's okay when you're told no, or if you can't have your way with something, it's okay. Just carry on. Okay, you, you'll still get, you know, something later, maybe not right now, but it's okay. All right. So, yeah. And since he's turned two, he's actually been doing better. So I can actually tell him, you know, like to go to his room and he not fall out. You know, he can actually walk to his room and go in there and play. No problem. I can tell him to go to bed at night, you know, like, oh, it's bedtime. You know, get him ready for bed. I'm like, all right, Amari, go on to bed now. And you can go to bed. No fuss. So it's just, I would say for anybody that's going through the terrible twos, just, you you just, you stay with it. You do not back down. Do not back down. Okay? These are children. Okay? And they have to learn. And sometimes, some of them, it take them longer. It's going to take them longer then. Um, but that's pretty much it with Amari and turning to my baby is through. But other than all of that, yeah, he does he does love to smile, like, you know, take pictures. When I take his picture, he loves to you know, make faces and stuff. He loves that. Um so that he loves taking selfies. So whenever I pull the camera out, take a picture, he wants to see himself. He doesn't want me, like, he doesn't want me to just put the camera, you know, to his face to take a picture. He's like, no, I need to see it. So he's always coming over here on this side to see. So I'm like, okay, we'll take a selfie. So, yeah. So that's it for Amari's two-year update. And I'm going to go ahead and go tend to my newborn. And, um... And I will see you all in the next week.